What's up, guys? Welcome to the Make It Happen podcast. This is episode eight. We have a very special guest in the house today. Eat with Zoe, Lorenzo, it's whatever you want to call him. He is a uh, chef. you probably seen him on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube also. He has a cookbook that just came out recently. You may have seen him on the Jennifer Hudson, so, uh, uh, Jennifer Hudson show. Yep. The list goes on. Welcome to Virginia, man. Thank you for coming. Yes, and sir. we got Jamel on the couch. We got Big Moody behind the boards. Welcome. And we got him mic'd up today. Let's get right into it. How's everybody doing? Let's do it. I'm doing good, man. Happy to be here. It's March. March 5th, 6th, you know, the year already flying. Yeah, we already in, all going into Q4 yeah, here I, soon. I just remember, you know, being January 1st, man, starting the new year. <laughs> going by fast. New year, new me. It's yeah, flying, man. man. <laughs> Have you been to uh, Virginia before? Or you come often or? Uh, I've been through Virginia. Through Virginia. You know? First stop, though, like to, to yeah, hang yeah, out. Yeah, hang yeah, out? yeah, first time, yeah. Yeah, Baltimore, not Virginia. We got to take them to. Um, oh, we got to go out tonight. Oh, yeah, we got to take them to. Places, uh, uh, Eagles Nest. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's the spot you used to joke about going to all the time in uh, Hamden? The alley. Oh, the the alley. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta go to the alley. That's it, man. Cause I, they I, probably swarm you in the alley. Yeah. Hey. It's oh my God, it's so. <laughs> Gotta well, make something out of nothing. Yeah, you, yeah. Can't even, you can't even go to the grocery store nowadays. Bro, man. I don't go to the grocery and, store. And, and it's it's funny, like, like I never forget. The moment I knew it was real, I was at the bank. Talked to my bank in one-on-one conversation. And then the conversation, and it was like a new banker. You know, you could come talk to different bankers. And it was like, are you, um, pull the phone, I just, you? I'm like, ah, oh, man. <laughs> and then, like, one time I was in Walmart, me and my fiance walking in the aisle. This this man, this guy literally comes down the aisle with his phone out like this and then says, is this you? Yeah. And I'm cracking up. I'm like, yeah, he's like, and his wife behind him. I told you that was yeah. You know what I mean, but it's 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 a it's a blessing and a curse, you know, because you get to interact with people that you really are doing it for, you know? right? Sometimes you know, me having a daughter, family, you got to be protective at the same time, right? Because yeah, people are crazy people too. Cra- yeah, yeah, man, you never know what somebody's thinking behind closed doors and all of that. So how did how did you uh, adjust to that? Because that, that happened. So you're it, still young. You're 25, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 25. Yeah, that's a lot for somebody that's yeah, still. Yeah, 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 right, right. I mean, to, for me, it was just kind of like. Being protective, you know what I mean? But also, I had to realize that, like, you know, like, because I started doing food videos just showing the hands, you know, showing, yep. focusing on the food, because I'm like, man, end of the day, people want to see the food. So, but then I was like, you know, I need to, you know, in order to become a brand, I had to put the face in it. Right. Yeah. So, you had to understand what comes with the territory. You know what That's saying? what we're signing up for. Yeah, I say yeah, that all yeah, the time. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, like you can't, you can't try to be this, oh, in my face, I want to. Talk to people, get millions of likes, followers, all this and that, but then not expect somebody to come up to you and say, I love your stuff in person. Yeah. You know, but for me, it was just kind of like, keep your distance, you know, but let's take a picture together or let's, let's, right. let, you know, I appreciate you. But yeah, I, I love it because that's one of the things that really is a reminder of like, you know, you, you know, we all have those, especially entrepreneurship, man, you have those doubts in your mind and the month isn't going good. Then somebody comes up to you and says, oh, I love your work. That's that, like, all right. They get you back in chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, don't, don't, don't. Well, you give get up. a message like, oh my God, my marriage was failing. And right, my, me and right. my husband started cooking your recipes. Yeah, and it's, it's like, it's like crazy, damn. man. Like, like, you you would think. As, I've had some really like tear jerking yeah, moments with yeah, people coming up to me yeah. in public and saying things like, like, like my. Yeah, yeah. Like, like being. And, it's, and it's, it's crazy because like all my friends, man, I go out, they're like, we, we, we can be at the cash register. Do you know who this is? And I'm yeah. like, oh. I, like, I hate is, people that do yeah, that. They're like, this is, this is E Wizzo. Do you follow him on Instagram? They're like, I don't know. Put your phone on. And then it's crazy. Majority of the time, they're like, oh, I've seen you before. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And it's like, but I'm me just being me, you know, I'm just more the, on the humble side of it. I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I, I try I try to shy away from that. Yeah, yeah, as yeah. Much yeah. As like, possible. I do this. I Unless you're trying to give me something for free. Right, right, right. Like, uh, you know I'm going to them for ass. Right? If, yeah. if, if, if Nobu's booked tonight and you want to let me in, <laughs> yeah. I'll welcome that. No, too. but I mean, I think uh, for, since y'all create the content, y'all probably not looking at it like people probably seeing y'all more than they see some of their family members. Like, yeah, 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 often yeah. y'all post, they reading, consuming, and yeah, seeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's true. Because cause I know like um, there's a lot of people that, and I've came to find out, come to find out, like cooking for me and my family in general is just natural. You know, like my grandmother can cook. My Father kind of can cook, um, you know. My mother can cook crazy, so it's like coming from a family like that. Where I mean, I've started cooking right when I was like five, or six years old, just, yeah. just being interested in doing it. And um, 
it's wild to me to this day realizing that like some people can literally not even like boil, boil water. water. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And, and, it's and a real like, thing. You know what I mean? And it's crazy. It's one of them sure. sitting over here. Yeah. And it's coming a long way. <laughs> and you sitting here like, yo, like, you don't know to flip the chicken when it turns this. Or like, you use too much of this, too much of that. And people are literally telling me like, yo, I bought your cookbook or, you know, I watch your videos and it changed my life. You know, like yeah. you just said, you know, they're like, yo. People got to eat every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then to, to be in that position and to realize that you're, quote unquote, changing lives. Kind of is, is something to take a lot to take in. Yeah, but you know, you, I mean, it's hey. impactful, man. Like, yeah. it, and it sounds like you 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 got a little imposter syndrome going on, which I think is normal. Yeah. I, I deal with it too, but like, it's we're definitely providing something for people, right? And you're impacting people's lives. You're yeah. you're like you got mothers out there that kids don't want to eat their food, and then they cook yeah. recipes, and the kids yeah. love it. That, imagine how that mother feels now that their kid loves their their food that they made. Like that, right, that probably right. changed their entire mood. Yeah, bond with them forever week. over yeah, over yeah, a good yeah, like, yeah. for sure. It, it really is impactful. Yeah, or yeah. even like you know, speaking on that, like parents and children. Um, I know one time I had I had a uh, some lady DM me on Instagram and was like, um, it was a picture and it was a picture of her son in there cooking. She said, "Oh my gosh, he's made three of your recipes. He loves them. You know what I mean? He he." he Talks about you all the time, you know. He he makes sure I've, he, he's younger to where he doesn't have a social media. You know, what I mean? yeah. he watches through her, and like something like that is like, damn man, like you know, kids grow up saying, I want to be like Michael Jordan, I want to yeah. be like Kobe Bryant, yeah. you know, be like an action figure. And people, you know, I, I'm sure it's happened. Sometimes I want to be like Ebuzo when I grow up, for sure. Yeah. You know, and that's that's that like yo, like you're now a role model, and that kind of makes you want to be like, you know, makes you want to go harder, but also wants to make you. Set a different example, or you know, set a Do standard. Do things the right way. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I, th- I think that if you were to ask a group of third graders ten years ago what they want to be in life, they would have said athletes, entertainers, etc. They say content creators. But yeah. now it's content creators. Uh, the big answer is gonna be YouTuber. YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, you, YouTube yeah, runs YouTube. the world, especially in that younger generation. So, I mean, you like. Not to sound crazy, like that's the new like actor, yeah, that's yeah, the new yeah, celebrity, yeah. that's the new but cause whatever. It, it's also because I know um when I was on the Jennifer Hudson show, and it was something that I realized that it was like, okay, there's not many, you know, for me to go from literally, man, like things started for me. My daughter was born in 2019, and I went from I was like, man, what am I gonna do? Right. So long story short, how the story went, I was at home and like I knew how to cook. Texted all my friends and said, I'm about to make these plates. Give me $5 to cover the food. Post it on your story, right? I did that on what? It was like sometime in uh, September, I think. They texted my fiance. She was like, yo, your boyfriend's selling plates. My girlfriend at the time, she's selling, he's selling plates. You know, people are like, I want to get one, I will get one. And then the next Sunday, I dropped, um, it was like a salmon pie. Everybody loves pasta. Did something like that and um, got like 35 orders. Now, mind you, at the time, you like, 35 orders? But for a 21 year old selling 20, I mean, 35, $20 plates, I made like $700. And I was like, I'm that's, like yo, I'm that's like, ingenuity. Like, that's it, called guerrilla marketing. Yeah, right yeah, there. yeah. That's I'm, what that is. I'm, for like, sure. I'm like, hold on now. You know, so I got a, a nice, you know, stack in my pocket. I'm going to keep doing this. You right. know what I mean? What were you doing for a living at that time? So at the time, I was, for one, I was still in school. I was in college. Okay. I was in college. For what? Um, uh, for. Started to like to go to physical therapy, but then I switched and I was I'm gonna do business administration solely because I knew like from a young age, man, like man, me and my my best friend to this day, me and him still be hustling, trying to do different things. It was one time we 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 found um lawnmower, weed whacker, made flyers, put it in every door in the neighborhood. Like, yo, we'll come cut your grass for twenty dollars. And yeah. so it's like I've always had that business mind, just trying to. Innovate, entrepreneurial, you know, entrepreneurial spirit. That's what yeah. it takes for sure. So, but I was um doing that. I was working at Olive Garden, man. So I've always had a food background. As a cook, yeah, yeah, cook, yeah. I always worked in restaurants since I was sixteen till I started doing this at like twenty twenty one. You know what I mean? It's about four or five years, and um, so I went from that selling the plates. I was doing that to get college kids the food, and then um, COVID hit. You know, changed the world. Started doing the private dinners. You know, because. Couldn't go out to eat. Restaurants was only doing that to go. Started going into those college kids' homes for their birthdays. Mm. Oh, I want to celebrate birthday. My mom's birthday. My family graduation, this and that. 
that's when I started getting into like really getting my feet wet with like, okay, this private this private dinner and private chef is, is a real it's a real career for, for people sure. who yeah. have been doing that. Right. You know, people who hire private chefs. And I was like, man, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm 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 making it work, you know? Like I I, I remember charging literally just enough to um to cover the tab. So did you have the was this a goal? Did you sit down and like, I want to be a private chef. This is what I want to do. This is how I want to do it. Or it just kind of just happened. It was like, because, you know, like I said, in this food lane for me, where I'm at to where I'm at now, a good 80 to 90% of this journey has been completely like, learn as I go on me. You know what I mean? Like it's- Build the airplane as you fly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One man show, you know what I mean? All the trying new things. So it was like, I went from selling a place and I'm like, man, the place aren't selling. Like, because I mean, I mean, there was still stuff, but nobody was in active in areas no more. Nobody wanted to be around. Then I was like, man, what, what am I gonna do? Then somebody was like, yo, can um, can you come cook something? I said, like, yes. And then I started posting. That's when social media kind of really was my like, okay, let me advertise on social platforms from uh, like Facebook ads. Man, I used to pay on Instagram to push my video to areas I wanted to go. Um, say I'm in North Carolina and I wanted to go to Atlanta. Right. right, I would pay to have my video put in Atlanta. Right, you know, because I'm like, okay, that's where the money is at. That's where the private dinner money is. Let me go to that area. So I would do that, and then now all of a sudden I'm getting bookings in Atlanta. You know, I had a job for him. Yeah, hey, come to Atlanta and do a so and so dinner. You know, and I honestly just learned as I go. You know what I mean? Kept going, kept going, kept going, and then it was I graduated college December 2020. I was what 22, 23 years old. And um, I was like, all right, I had a decision. My manager, Olive Garden, was like, Zoe, we got this management position for you. You can make, and it's, cra- it's crazy to say it. 40 grand a year? Yeah. <laughs> you know <what> I'm saying? <laughs> and it's crazy to say because I'm but like, But at the Yo. time, 40 grand right. is like yeah, yeah, 40 you know grand. I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm 22 years old. <laughs> I have a one-and-a-half-year-old daughter, like 14-year-old yeah. daughter. You know, my, my, my fiance, she was making, she was making probably around the same, you know, 40,000. So, like, we're a young couple that could be bringing in 80K. Like, that's that's not bad. You're good. Not you know bad. what I'm saying? Yeah. In, in, 20, in 2021, you know, 2020, like, you can afford some straight stuff. In North Carolina, for sure. Right, exactly. So, we go home, I go home, I'm like, man, what do I do? And you got to make something out of nothing. Like, I didn't, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, because I'm like, yo, I could get this job, but these plates and these private dinners, it's just the, honestly, I think what changed for me was when you have a child, you know what I'm saying? Congratulations. Thank you. You know what I mean? Thank you. You have this thing in your mind where you like, you can't fail. Right. You know? It's not because, an option. Because if you do fail, your, your daughter, your son don't eat. You right. know what I'm saying? Somehow, some way, it's going to affect them. So I was like, man, do I do this? Because entrepreneurship, for those that don't know, man, it's literally. Oh, it's it's rock. It's a rocky road. road. You have the most, you're like, man, I'm on top of the world. <laughs> Gonna buy a new car, new house. It's day to day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then you go down and you like, oh man, should I have bought this car? Should I have bought this house? Right. I don't know. And it goes back up. You know what I'm saying? Like, so damn, I should like, got a bigger house. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> so, so I'm like, so I was like, you know what? We was like, let's bet, let's bet on myself. You know what I mean? And I'll never forget, bro. When I did that, I was in like January, because my manager was like, when you graduate, I said end of December. It was like January, beginning of January. I went from like. 4K to 10K followers on Instagram. And I was oh, man. 10, Game at, on. The, at the time, 10K was like the... That was the we new, had a that, celebration when I hit 10K yeah, followers on Instagram. Yeah, I mean, I, we I, went to dinner. I, like, I it was the thing. I popped yeah. a bottle of champagne every <laughs> milestone. And I yeah. still will to this day. I celebrate I, the small ways. Yeah, yeah, man. You have to. I hit 10K. And then like 20 days later, I hit 100K. When I seen that 100, I was like, oh, shit. Like, this is... This it's is, real. This is mm-hmm. real. You know what I'm saying? I'll say this real quick. Nobody had a better run on Instagram, in my opinion, that yeah. I've witnessed than yeah. you. With that fucking yeah. crab cake biscuit, yo, yo. there was never a day <laughs> that I opened my app and I didn't see that bitch. Yeah, it, and it's crazy because, like, so when when that happened, that litter, that crab cake biscuit, and to this day, that's one of my, I just... For those that know, will know that was one of the like, oh, that's when I started to recognize you, following you, whatever. But for those that don't, they may just, you know, it's like you said, it's it's so saturated now. You know, you may consume something and forget about it. But 
me and my fiance were literally in the kitchen. It wasn't that much food content yeah, back yeah, then. No, 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 it wasn't. It wasn't. And it was like, like in the 2020 range. Yeah, yeah, it, was yeah. like, it was early on. People, people used to hit me up and be like, bro, you got your own yeah, lane. Like, I'm like, you were, this you, lane, you were, it's a you, traffic yeah. jam now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, it's it's no. not a lane. He was the like connoisseur of the food world on Twitter. Like everybody, like, and, and, and I guess people that aren't on Twitter don't really know, but like Twitter, you don't need to have. 10 million followers. It's impossible. To, no, yeah. to, to be known. Like Twitter, you can have a couple of 100,000, 50,000, 100,000 and be like, oh yeah, now nah, this dude pops up all the time. Yeah. Because people don't just follow you as easy. You know what I'm nah. saying? But um, but yeah, like bro, so like it's funny because we were literally drunk, you know, a little tipsy, having something, eating crab cakes and it was Valentine's Day eating crab cakes and, excuse, excuse me, red lobster biscuits. Crab cakes and red lobster biscuits and we were like, man, I think it was it was I think it was her. She was like, "What if you put it inside?" Because we were eating like a little piece of crab with the biscuit, and I was let me try that. So I took the crab cake, <laughs> did that right, mind you. We're like tipsy. It's like twelve in the morning. I melt some butter. I'm like, hold on, Life put changed. this plate down, right? Pour that butter. Post it, and then at the time this. I feel like social media is getting back to this where like. You'll post and stuff doesn't go up instantly anymore. Yeah, like, you go like, to sleep and wake up like, oh my god. Yeah, right, 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 right. So now you, you'll post something. Maybe the first day you're like, oh, it does good, then it it'll shoot up. You know, you never know. Yeah. But um, that happened, man. And then my formula was so when I went from that ten to one hundred k to, and I went from a in twenty days a hundred to five hundred like the next thirty. That's when I knew like, yeah, I I, I going quote, to the moon. It. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, <laughs> let me lock in on this. But what I used to do, I used to do these videos, man, these small complimentation videos, right? I never forget the one one that I did that kind of gave me that boost. I put together like some of my most like food porn clips, breaking the biscuit open. I did um I had this clip with like I'm private then I did grits and a with the crab butter legs. Pour. Yeah, I've the, seen all of these. Yeah, the but yeah, all of them, right? <laughs> I remember that day. <laughs> so yeah. The voice, I did a voiceover, right? My at the time, I used to do music. I used to post videos and post like music, R and B. That's how I got a bunch you sing? of followers. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I used to, I used to like literally go in there and be like, oh man, what's the most slow jam song oh, that you okay. can think about some food porn? You know what I mean? Like, right. Like, oh, pouring some butter. Um, what's that? Kiss me, baby. Yeah. Oh, I remember. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Some shit like that. So I did a voiceover and I said, all right, this was the exact voice. I'll never forget. Y'all ever seen that commercial? Um, it was way back. It was like you sitting on your couch. Yeah, you know, go, go to college. Right, right, right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Like that. yeah. So I was like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna kind of do a twist on that. So I said the video was it was like it was a, a bunch of food clips. It said, sitting in your house, you don't know what you want to eat. You tired of going out. You don't feel like making nothing in the house. So it was something like you came yeah. across my page. So. You gotta follow me, something like that, right? It was, it, I, I can't remember exactly, but it was word, it was something like that. Yep. And that video went crazy. People were like, I'm sending it to everybody, like, oh man, now, I'm, now I gotta follow you off of this. And it was like, that was my first taste of really trying to, you know, figure out the social media world and figure out what people like, you know what I mean? Right. But on top of that, aside, I had so many videos lined up in my, like we said earlier, in the catalog. So it wasn't like one, a one hit wonder video. That was the video that brought people to the page to now start recognizing me and seeing, okay, this dude knows what he's doing or he's he's trying different things, being innovative. Right. And that kind of was what like, you know, solidified, you know, because I feel like in this in this lane, like you said, it's it's the traffic jam now. You have to find your place. Right. You find your place in the lane and you you I'm not gonna say stay in your lane, but you got you in this like it's it's a dog eat dog world out here, man. You know, because the thing about it is, and not that I get it, because yeah. I've been in that position before right. where you you try to figure it out. Uh, everybody's copying everybody, so like if if somebody discovers somebody before you and right. that person's copying your shit, it might right. look like you're copying their shit. Right, 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 right. It's right. like you, <laughs> like I I've been doing this a long time, so yeah. there, it'll be times where people are like. Oh, this is the same recipe that you did. Like, yeah, yeah I did that in like yeah, yeah, 2019. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not, like, not for, but it, it happens yeah. so often. Yeah. yeah. So it's like you got to figure out a way to stand out but still be authentic. Yeah, yeah. It's a tough thing to kind of yeah. navigate. And I mean, it's like, man, like I look at it like, like artists, you know, in music. Man, you got, you know, how many, how many artists sample the old record? You know what I mean? Yeah. Or how many artists do a remix or come out with the same 
literally the same song, but they they same rhyme melodies, you know what similar I'm hook. So it's it's like there's only and when it comes to the food world, there's only but so much you can do. Like I can yeah. literally sit here and be like, I right, Matt is doing a lobster shrimp Alfredo, and I'm gonna say, okay, you know, hey, that look, like I, I may watch them, but Daniel looks good. I'm gonna try to make a lobster and scallop Alfredo. Yeah. Now now if I if you posting it on Monday. And I make a lobster and shrimp Alfredo on Tuesday. Now I'm gonna look at you sideways. You know, you'd be like, like, all right, now. you know, I just that posted a that. lot. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, some I, people I, post it the same yeah, day. Yeah, like, I'm like, I'm, yeah, yeah. And, and sometimes <laughs> it's crazy. Edit it right you know what I mean? Some people <laughs> do it the same day. And it's sure. sometimes it literally is. Sometimes it literally is not a. It's not on purpose. Like I've had times where people have posted videos. I'm like, yo, I'm literally sitting here editing my video. The same one, right? Yeah, now. me too. And, and 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 you may be like, you know, I, I've gotten to. I'm like, man, I'm gonna post. It. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I I don't care sure. at all. Now, if if somebody has an idea, you know, I may do like a inspired by you know this and that. But man, and if, if it's something new, yeah, like there's not many yeah. new recipes. Yeah, it's not. Like, yeah. It's not. Like, there's it, only so many, especially when it, when we're talking about popular things that people want to see that people right. that we know. It's like, for example, I cook for. When I'm cooking at home for like a, a family dinner or yeah. friends coming over, I'm not cooking the same shit that I'm cooking when yeah, I know yeah. that I'm shooting for Instagram. Uh, yeah. No, no, hundred percent. So like, if we're cooking for for views and like entertaining the audience or trying to come up with simple things that people can recreate for dinner on a right. weeknight, there's only so many things. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So all a... of that stuff's gonna be the same. Right, right, right. With certain yeah. ingredients, with certain little things yeah, yeah. that I see, it's like. Yeah, right, right, right. And, and there and there's could. a there's <laughs> nothing wrong. Hey. You could just tag me. You don't even like have to do that, but like it might help them it, though. Like I don't but, 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 but the thing with tagging is sometimes because outside looking in, for people who are what consuming food content, yeah. people like who they like. So like I'm more than sure me and Matt probably have like on, let's say Instagram alone. I think I have I have like I'm like close to like 2.1 now. You got like a million, right? Mm-hmm. So that's three million people combined. Out of that three million, there there may be I'm sorry. Out of his one million and my two million, there may be ten to twenty thousand people that are like simultaneously following both of us. And now Probably more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it may be more than that. But yeah. the thing is, I think we've grown so accustomed to like looking at these big numbers. 20,000 people is a lot of people. Yeah, it fills up a whole Coliseum. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's yeah. like, and those are real people liking, comment, you know what I'm yeah. saying, periodically. So it's like, that may be it, but then the other 980,000 for you, when, you know, for me, it's like, those people don't even know who I am, vice versa, because the word, like, people like who they like, but they may like him for something specific. They may like me for something specific. So it's like, they watching me, and then I, 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 cause I never forget. People will get on there and troll you, right? In this food world, like I made some um, badia. I hope I said it right. Badia tacos, right? And I remember the the Hispanics, whoever the culture that is for, they were like, "Yo, you did crazy, right?" That's forty percent. Forty percent is saying, "Yo." What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like you are not doing this right. And you got 10% saying, you could have did this, but you killed it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you could have added, like, they give it for sure. Because, like, that's that's my favorite lane. I, I say, you know, my favorite lane, I'm going to do, I'm going to do those recipes that are culturally, you know, that are, are what you want to call it, gate kept. You know what I mean? Like, like, like don't make no oxtail on, um, and, and, and call it oxtails. Yeah. Because now, now they're getting on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But I like I like stepping into that lane. Like I like going into that the water with the sharks because not only does it show your versatility, but it also shows that you know you're not afraid for criticism or you're not yeah. afraid for this. And then, you know, I've learned from you, Matt, you'd be sarcastic. You'd be like, Well, you you show me that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, get, you get in the kitchen and cooking. <laughs> right. You know? And that, that's the funny part about it. Because the man. easiest thing in the world is to criticize. Yeah. Like, you sit on the couch, you probably can't cook shit. Right. Like it's like, oh you are on your phone. This, like this oh, isn't man. authentic. Like well, I've been to Mexico, I've been to Southern California. Right. It won't that good. My shit is better. <laughs> no, 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 it won't that good. See, the <laughs> truth is the truth. Yo, right. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's crazy. Cause I yeah. never forget my first time in L.A. Man, you hear L.A. like, oh the, the you gotta get the taco trucks. Yeah, 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 taco trucks. This and that. It's like so. So I, I'm I'm driving. I was driving. I rented a car. I'm driving, and um, I look up. I wanted a breakfast burrito. Right. I look up burritos near me. 
a hundred spots pop up. I'm like, and they like, you can try anyone. I go, I'm like, yo, this burrito was bland. It, it yeah. was, it was, a, it was hot, but it was like, I'm like, yo, come on now. I'm gonna get in the kitchen and make the outside a little crispy. You know what I'm saying? Season it up, and then it's like, now, nah, but. They look at me and they're like, "Oh no, nah, man, what you doing? You you don't do it right. They do it better. No, they don't. You know, you're just yep. and I, think, I deal with that a lot. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, 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 and that's one thing I had to realize when it comes to this food lane, man, is not everybody's family can cook. And I think that's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah, like, I mean, most people, I, it's a skill that you. It's one of those things that you can only get good at if you. Practice yeah, a yeah, lot. Yeah, right, right, right. Practice. You know, some, like if you're playing a video game, you might just can play Madden, pick yeah. it up, play it, or you know, there's certain things that you don't right. have to like spend years and years honing the skill. Right. But cooking is one of those things. When we get in the kitchen, I'm gonna know. Yeah, if, if you I know mean, what you're doing. Their or not. parent may be the best cook in their family. Yeah, right, right. and they but still they're still like probably trained, but that's but, all they like know. cooking. You know what but, I'm saying? Yeah, so it's no, like, no, but yeah, it's eat this or starve. Right, right. Of course, right. your mom yeah, yeah, yeah. So you starve to death. It, yeah. they make the best food and, I know. Like. And, yeah. and, and that's the funny thing because I will never forget like growing up, um, going to a friend's house. Right, like me and my two of my friends live in neighborhood, like childhood friends. On Thanksgiving, right, we used to we always eat at different times. One friend used to eat like late, like ten o'clock late. One friend used to eat at like 1 p.m. And my family ate at like 7. You know what I'm that, That's a whole topic. What time to eat Thanksgiving? Who knows? Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so like we would go to one house or either it would be the end of the night. And we would just go, oh, let me get some Mac from your mom. Let me get some Mac from you. And I would be like, yo. I would taste it and be like, oh, this is good. But I'm like, yo, this is not, not good. Like, that's not it. Like, like my, my parents. And I'm like, I know and how I am now because I cook. I know it's not just in my head. I mean, like there's certain flavors that just are not there, right? And you know what I mean. But to some people, they're like, "No, this is the best food ever." You know what you know, like it, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. And people's like, palates like, are are different, right? And, for sure. And people have yeah. more developed palates depending yeah. on how much you've traveled, how much you've eaten. Yeah, man. You know what you're yeah, used yeah. to. I, I judged a um, sweet potato pie contest for a church one time. Oh God! This was oh, like you know I, I had like a million followers, right? And they said, like, "Yeah, come down, so I'll do it. Yeah, let's have some fun." Man, and it, <laughs> the look on them aunties' faces, they like, I got the best, I got the best, I got the best. Let me, let's try it. It was me and a couple judges, right? But I'm taking a bite, and I'm like, and we having to like, you know what I'm saying? Like, keep that straight face, but you like, yo, did something hit me this back here It's not pleasant. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I took her home to my fiance, and she was like, I said, blind taste, I just try them all. She and she like, oh my god, what is that? You know what I'm saying? But it, it's yeah, just but funny in her that family, she's they Patty love LaBelle. You know what I'm saying? The they love it. Yeah, the right. best. You know what I'm But it's, Mother Johnson made the best sweet potato pie. Yeah, you never know, man. I mean, y'all basically put, put in a professional athlete form of a cook. Yeah. So it's like you yeah. fast, but you an athlete. Bro, I'll smoke you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you might be the fast person in you, your right. neighborhood, <laughs> you but you're not coming over here <laughs> running no laps for me at all. And it's hard for people to grasp because it's cooking, and it's something like culturally, like no, my family, like we make eggs right here. I hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been doing this every day for like 12, 13 <laughs> yeah. years straight. And that, that, that's the funny part, man. Just trying to tell people like, yo, y'all can cook. I get it. But sometimes there's just certain things. And, and to this day, I learn. That's why like I do like I do like doing those um different types of cultures, you know, and I like I like getting my feet wet in other lanes. Like I did it for the first time. Um, I believe it's called a Yiro. Yeah. How do I say gyro? Yeah, yeah. Like, I saw say, that video. Let me say gyro. Let me say yiro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I literally was like, it was funny when I was doing the video. I was like, yo, this is not like this doesn't look appetizing at all. Like it was the pita bread. I did like some um some grilled chicken thighs, pickled onions, fries, and the sauce. But that's how it is culturally. Like literally, I, I and that's the thing. When I ever make something culturally, I study it. Yeah. You know, like I literally I have to because I don't know how to make every. I, the first I don't know how to make everything. I had to research how to make this. Yeah, you know what right. I'm saying. But then you add your twist to it. You know, you're you're as as a professional, you know, chef, cook, whatever you want to call this. You have to add your twist. You have to learn how to make something, put your twist on it, and then you end with an end result. Right. So when I'm making, I'm like, okay. Some people put fries on. This. I'm like, this looks right. And I remember my fiance. She always she's the person behind the camera. Sometimes she was like, it looks good, but it, it just it looked messy, you know what I mean? And we was like, okay, how do we fix it? So we took like some um, parchment paper and kind of like stacked it to where it now looks like a picture perfect type of thing. And for those who know in the food realm, man, because a lot of people ask me, what do you do with all that food? Sometimes it gets eaten, sometimes it's not even edible. You know, you do so much like trying to, you know, 
oh, hold on. This piece of parsley doesn't look right here. Or it's got to look good yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. people eat with their eyes. So, but to my point with that, it was just like, it was, I was a little... I, I get nervous posting new recipes sometimes. Yeah. You don't know how they're going to perform. Right. But it ended up getting good feedback from people who were in that culture. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like the people who aren't, they didn't care. They couldn't, they, they didn't care about it. You know, they're like, oh, I'm not, I don't care about it. I'm not about to like that video. And the people that did, they were like, oh man, you, I want one right now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like finding that balance between. You know, as we said earlier, you find that lane. Do you stay in that lane, or do you find your your you know your personality, your your, your, your what you do, and then step into those other lanes? Yeah, I, I think that doing what we do, things can get stale over time. So you don't want to stick with the same exact flow, the stay, same exact editing right. style, the same exact voiceover style. Like, eventually, you got to reinvent it a little bit, add yeah. a little tweak to it, switch it up. Right. Like, at one point, it was all music background. Now, it's all voiceover. Now, it's starting to be ASMR. You might do a little like mixture of the three things, storytelling. Yeah. You might start at the grocery store, a little vlog style. Right. Like, it, it's ever-evolving, and you got to constantly... I think because the, the user base is growing and ever-evolving, too, as well. Like, yeah. the same people that started following you at the beginning may not be those same people now. It might be a young yeah. crowd. It might be an older crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're into different but things. But also, it gets, it gets stale when... Again, going back to it being a traffic jam, if if me and you got millions of followers and somebody starting out and they got fifty thousand, they're gonna copy the shit that they see that's working. Right, right, right. And now you scroll your Instagram and everybody shit look the same. Right, 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 right. Money shot first, and it's into the this, yeah. and it's the little yeah, chopping yeah, yeah, sound, yeah, 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 and it's, and it's a sauce pour, yeah. and then it's this. I mean, cause y'all built the industry like for, like yeah. from COVID, I feel like that's when this new food industry yeah, was yeah. like birthed. Yeah, yeah. Like, and it's crazy because I'll never forget, man. This is something that. I'm not gonna mention no names. It's just it's something you know. It's not you peep things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll never forget. There was this guy, who, as you mentioned, was up and coming, right? And somebody had sent it to him. I'm like, yo, he copied it, word, but like, like, yeah, verbatim. Like, 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 like now there's there's a there's a line between being inspired and, and you know, doing a, a replicate a replication. Like if Matt yeah. does something crazy and he does like a chicken sandwich and it's going viral all over. If it's going viral at the beginning of January and I do it in, in the end of January or March, I mean, or February, like, you know, there's no need to really tag him because so many people have done it. It's like, at that point, you're just kind of trying to be like a um, a yes man and be like, oh, let me make sure I give you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. come on now. A million people have done it before. I don't care about that. But if, if you do a video and you're like, okay, you take the chicken, put it in the flour, put the flour in this, and then I do a video... Like you, like yo, come on now! Like, right. like you literally copy my word for word. It's like I'm looking in the mirror right now, down to the the like the you know. And I was like, I seen in the video, man. I was just like, come on, man! Like, like, and I'm not. And that's the thing. I'm not the type of person to. I'm not gonna go be like, yo, man, why are you doing? I'm like, cause at the end of the day, I was in the position at one point when I was trying to grow. Right, like, you're I did trying things, to figure it out. Yeah, I did right. things differently, and I get it. But and I don't. I don't harbor any negative energy yeah, nah. towards that. Um. I had a, a situation recently where somebody sent me a video. It was like, what do you think about this baked spaghetti recipe? Yeah. I'm like, that's my baked spaghetti recipe. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like, if you go on YouTube right now, my I got one of the highest yeah. viewed baked spaghetti recipes right. on the internet. Of course, when somebody's trying to make baked spaghetti, they might go to YouTube. Yeah, they might They're going to probably see my video. Right, right. This shit's from three years ago. You right. posted it yesterday. I mean, I get right, it. Right, right, it right. It looks right. great. It is a good recipe. You should yeah, try it. Yeah. But, like... I mean that happens a lot. Yeah, that's right. part of yeah, the game. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, just, I just think I just think there's a line, like an unwritten rule, I guess you could say. You yeah. Know what I mean, of somewhat of a, just a respect level of like, do your thing, man. Because like I, I'm one, I'm one to be like, man, we we, we can work together. Because I'm like, shoot, every dog has their day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You like, never know what's gonna happen. Every either. dog has their day. You can be quote unquote this top dog. Somebody's gonna replace you at yeah. some point in time. Somebody new is coming. Somebody younger, like like now, I don't, there's there's a kid on um, Instagram now, young kid, like, like young 13, kid, nine young or thirteen kid. or Cooking some shit, going crazy, yeah. way more. Fi- everybody's trying to collab with him because they know, oh, this 
eventually this kid's gonna take my spot. Which is, which is somebody's true. comment was yeah. like, This is a single child of two parents. Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'd be whooping but he's up. making everything. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. types of stuff. Ice cream, whatever. Creme brulee. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, it's, it's like, Beef short rib. I'm like, right. What? My it, man is going crazy. And it's like, that's, that's good for him. You know, it's like, I, I applaud that because I'm like, Yo, that shows you that, you know, this kid, because in every lane, rappers, actors, artists, yeah. you know, somebody new always comes. Right. But it's just kind of like, you know, you can't be that, you can't have this. Try to sit on this pedestal and think for one to never get taken from you, and that you're always gonna be better than somebody because you you'll never have longevity with that. I feel no. Like, that's why you, you can't kick your feet up. You gotta yeah, you gotta keep working. You right. I right, tell right. people all the time, you never arrive. Success is not a destination. Right. Every we got a sign upstairs in the office that says success is uh, not owned. It's rented right. and rent is due every, every day. day. Right. 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 You and gotta then, wake up and you gotta yeah. get and, back and, to work. Yeah. And that's and, and it, and go ahead. Oh no, no, I was just like just before like Coca Cola and companies like that was able to just get a market share and hold right. the company. Now it's like faces. Like now it's changing all the time. It's right. always gonna be a new face, a new person yeah, that right, people right, wanna right, right. And, visit and, and see. And it's that thing where it's like, man, when when you get to a point to where you have the success, you know what I'm saying? It's so easy to hang sit there and say, I made it, you know what I'm saying? Cause I have moments like that all the time where I'm like, man, because I literally I'm gonna went, take the week off. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like I, I went from like, and I use an analogy, and it's all because it, it just it just blows my mind sometimes, man. I was in when I was some of those places. I was in a 1998 Toyota Camry, had a couple hundred dollars in my bank account, with plates in this this thermal bag, driving around the city, um, trying to sell them for like a couple hours. Mind you, I may have made at the end of the day a couple hundred dollars, maybe two hundred dollars. And I'm like, yo, like I went from that to now, you know, we can post one video and make a couple thousand dollars in the comfort of your home, you know what I'm saying? So it's like the level you get to, sometimes you definitely have to sit there and bask in the moment. But because I'm an advocate for man, like, enjoy this while you while you here. Yeah. Because like I use it now, like I'm not trying to be 70, 60 years old and be like, man. I should have took a vacation, or I should have I should have took a week off of work when I was thirty years old, twenty years old. Yeah, like nah, mm-hmm. man, you know what I'm saying? Because you are gonna get to that point and be like, well, you can't go back. Right, that's true. That's a, that story you just told about riding around with the cars and and not having much money selling the place is a great story because we talk about all the time like how we grew up and just yeah. to come up. So that's right, like right, that's, right, a, that's right. a great story. Yeah, yeah, just that, to hear it because like a lot of people may see your page and it's like, oh, you got two million man, followers. Man. And that's like they can't even imagine bruh, a time bruh. before then. All the time, like like I. I can't tell you how many times people see me and are shocked because they're like, oh, I thought you lived in LA. I thought you lived in New York. All the time. Oh, man. Man. You're I'm, so down to I'm, earth. Like, bro, I just cook <laughs> lamb chops on the internet. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm not curing I'm cancer or real, doing man. brain surgery. You know what I'm saying? Shoot. But, but it's, I mean, to be honest, it, it's, it's, it's a lane that more people are going to be in there tomorrow than there were today. And the right. day after that, it's, gonna, it's right. ever growing. Right. And hearing stories like yours are going to inspire the next generation of folks to yeah. come up. The next, sure. the next and, Zoe that's working at Olive Garden deciding, damn, do I take this forty thousand dollar a year job or do I bet right. on myself and, and build an empire Try to control and, your own and, and not, change nah, my life and my family's life? Yeah, because that's that's one thing that um, I remember um, going in the grocery store about to make a video. I was going to make like some, some red snap. I was in the expensive grocery store. I think it was Whole Foods. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And I see this this dude in there, and he recognized. He said. He said, yo, he said, um, yeah, I'm, I'm in here about to make some lamb chop and mac and cheese places. I follow you. He was like, yeah, you inspired me. And I'm like, man, he only had like 3,000 followers. But I'm like, I literally can remember doing the same exact he's thing. He's in that spot where he's selling plates trying to figure right, it out. Right, right, right. So it wasn't even like a, like I followed you and everything. Because I'm like, yo, I'm like, I remember being there. And not even, like, when I was at that point, I wasn't wishing these big time people would notice me. I was using them, as you mentioned earlier, as a model. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ha- you have to, nobody is going to be here and not look up to the people who are having as what normal they want human and, behavior. And not try to mimic and, and figure out the way. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If you're trying to get in shape, you look to people that's in shape. If right. you're trying to get rich, you look to entrepreneurs right. or business owners or people sure. that's already rich. If you're yeah. trying to be a chef on the internet, you look to people that's already having success. Right. It's right. normal. It's like, I don't, I don't get into the habit of like, being upset at any anything like that, I totally yeah. understand it because it's yeah. it's actually smart. Like right. the best way to do this is to find yeah. 
people that are doing it right, yeah. model yourself after that, and then put your own spin right, on right, it. The right, same right. way to do a good recipe. Find yeah. a recipe that works. If you've never made it before, you got to start with something. It happened right. across then, all industries. Cars, right. clothes, everything. everything. Right, they see right. something that's working. That's Mercedes what the steals world. from BMW all right, the time all and vice versa. Yeah, yeah. They, until they, they put right. their little spin on it, and now right. it's theirs. Right, yeah. and the crazy part about it is, at the same time, there's a lot of times where, let's say you did something first, and I, I may do it better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or... You may do something good, but then that person coming up does it, and they kill it. And now you like, oh, man, they stole my well, yeah, they nah, stole Now it. it's time for you to go yeah, do right, something else. Right. They stole your recipe, but they did it better. So yeah. we don't even really care about you no more. You know right. what I mean? But at the same time, I really feel like having those people who are up and coming, because, and that's where I feel like your mentality comes into play. You know what I'm saying? You can be that guy that wants to say, oh, no, man, I'm I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm top dog. Or, you know, I've been doing this. I'm... No, man, y'all got to give me my flowers for, you got to give me credit, this and that. You can be that guy, or you can be that guy that says, dang, this dude is killing it. Let me step my game up. You know what I'm saying? Right. Let, let me let me try to stay on, because you may step it up and they still pass you, but you need people to keep on your toes. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, 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 like you, you are my peer right? when it comes to this food stuff. You know what I mean? My friend now. But it's like, at the same time, if I see you posting, or you're like, yo, I'm... I just closed this deal, or we just sold this, or I'm doing this recipe, getting these followers. I can be, like I said, one or two guys. I can be a hater, or I can be like, you know what? Dang, man, I'm proud of you. Right. Now, let me let me do something better. You exactly. Know? Like, like, like we, the term, we're not in competition, I feel like it's it's cliche, because you are. You no, know? you, you, you like, for like, sure, we're, 100. We're, and I always got that at the front of my mind. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know and what I'm saying? a competitive person. Like, I, right. I don't, I'm not malicious about it, but right, it's, right, it's right. all competition yeah, 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 for yeah, me. You have to, because, man, that's iron sharpens iron, man. Yeah. So, like, like, if I'm sitting here and you, you are, you're doing this, like, all our peers are going crazy. And I'm like, man, I wish this would be me. Well, let it be you. Like, it's like, it's you, easy for people to slip into that mindset yeah, too. Yeah, man. And and to be honest, there's multiple ways. Like, so for example, like I think that the the vanity metrics, like the things that are cool or people that like that that that, that they want to go after, like going viral, getting a lot of views yeah. and getting a lot of followers. That's great. Right. But is it putting money in the bank? Right. right. Yeah, yeah. Is it man. changing yeah, your yeah. family's life? Yeah. 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 Is it changing your life? Yeah, yeah. And that, it, or is it changing your friends and people around you's life? Right, right. Like, cause nobody, I don't give a fuck if you got a viral video, you got yeah. 10 million views, but you live at home with like your parents, say, or it's, you. It's you, two sides of Instagram. Yeah. It's like the fame side yeah. and it's the money side, and some people just all on the fame side and right, not on the money right, side. Right. Because, right. like, man, like I, I tell all the time, like, yo, you, you can be viral all you want. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't, I don't want people to like. I'm not gonna say I don't want people. I don't want to go out and be famous. Uh, like it's 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 reassuring and, and it's I know it like you said I know it comes to the territory, but I would much rather be the dude who has zero followers and got all the money. In the bank account. You know yeah, what I'm saying like me too. I, I'm passionate about what I do now, so I do like to provide something because I know that I'm providing something for people. I'm giving yeah. people like I'm teaching people how to cook. You know what I'm saying? To blunt, you know, to put it put it bluntly. But it's like man. I would much rather not have the fame if I could know I could just be efficient. Like if I could do stuff, but still make an impact and make money, man. That's because end of the day, like it's not all about the money. But if you're doing this and it's your career, you yeah. know, you have to provide, especially having kids, a family. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna go out here and be be BSing. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be trying to provide. Like like man, I'm 25 years old. Bought the house last year. Nice house, nice neighborhood for my family because I'm like, man, that's our foundation. You know right. What I'm saying? At 24 years old, I was able to buy a house. We got cars. We're, we're, we're doing well, and I want to keep doing well because I know that, you know, this is this is my career. You know? Right. This is, you got, and you treat it like that. Yeah. yeah you know, like, and like as your team grows, that right. responsibility will grow too because now you got other adults that are a part of you that you yeah, you're, yeah. you're directly responsible for whether right. or not they can pay their bills this month right right exactly and that's so like that's, it does it's it's not all about the money yeah in a sense of like i want diamonds and right, cars right, right. and mansions but, but and we stuff. gotta provide man you got you got shit to take yeah, care yeah, of yeah because like like my um like i said i, I got a, a videographer who you know i'm about to really pretty much make full time and i'm like man i tell him all the time I'm like yo because i'm i have i have the platform pretty much everywhere but youtube 
know what I'm saying? And Twitter. I'm trying to I've been trying to get into Twitter again. Follow him on Twitter. Because cause Twitter, <laughs> it's funny, like I Twitter was my like initial push. Like I was on Instagram, but I had some stuff go viral on Twitter. You know, yeah. Twitter, eighty thousand likes. Like that's a lot of, on Twitter, that's that's crazy. So I'm but um to to put it short, I was something like, yo, like I I wanna get to a point to where I'm able to pay you so you don't have to work anymore. Yeah, this is your job. Right, right, right. Like, because then you can take care of your family with what I'm right, right, what right. I'm putting on the table. Exactly. Cause then, then like being in that position, it comes with the territory where now I have that responsibility on my back. But it's also like you know that that person rocking with you is taking that risk to say, okay, you know what? They believe I, you. I'm not gonna work a job. I'm I'm working for you. And now I don't even say for you're working with me because right. without you, we don't get to here. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I feel like that comes with sometimes like you know like if if this videographer or this manager or this this um you know in a restaurant your your dishwasher if they're doing something so that you can like a dish if a dishwasher is cleaning your plates so you can serve food on clean plates you owe them you know what I'm saying the the fucking restaurant don't run without the dishwasher right right you know what I'm saying so it's like without I've done that, events where the dishwasher left yeah. early and it the whole uh, the whole shit's right, rooms. Right, right, right. Exactly. You know like what I'm saying? It's, it's yeah, yeah, the dishwasher yeah, so like, gets paid the least yeah, and they got it, the most important right, job right, in the spot. Right. It takes everybody. And I think that's where, you know, people who get to this point, like for when you know, I had to realize like, I can't do this on my own, man. Like right. like I tried, I tried for years and I realized that it's like trying to run this by yourself, because I mean like I said, I was young. I was when it first kicked off, man. I mean, I'm like twenty, what, twenty one, twenty two with Million followers, I'm like yo, like cooking, and people are literally. You like, don't even know, like you trip still figuring out <laughs> yeah, life yeah, at yeah. twenty two. They, they yeah. waiting for me to drop something. I got a daughter. I'm like yo, like what do I do? You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's like then I real, I'm starting to realize, okay, you know what? You need you need people around you. Now, now you build that team. Now the team is able to look at things from the outside perspective because yep. you're you're the at this point you're the the pillar. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's looking at you like Zo. Give us recipes, give us new content, give us this, be a good person, smile all the time. Post, like you gotta do all these million different things to keep this image. And then you're like, man, how can I do it all at one time? This person, okay, I'm gonna take care of this for you. I'm gonna take care of this for you. Now you can focus on this. We advise us, we advise you, you know what I'm saying? How to make the best, the best of the situation. Cause Without it, man, you're gonna be sitting there and be like, "Yo, I'm I don't, I'm going one in two ways." And if I could go back and change anything, I would definitely say I would go back and start my team earlier. Yeah, I, that's one thing I preach the most. Like, start it before you're comfortable doing it, right? Because I like when I first started, I was paying Moody out of my pocket. We right. were making zero dollars right. in the business, and I right. was just paying him out of the out of the money that I was making from my job, right? And I hired a bunch of other people before I probably, like, a business advisor probably would have been like, hey, you, you probably don't need to spend that much right, money. Right, right, right. But that's how I get to yeah, this yeah, place. Yeah, you were trying to build the infrastructure. You can't do right. it without that. And people are scared to invest in themselves. Right. But, I like, if you don't invest in yourself, I don't think you believe in yourself. Yeah, yeah no, no, 100%. And it's like, because I realized, like, when with, it, with me, it was, you know, you had, you when you start getting that money in, it's easy to just like want to gatekeep it. You know what I'm yeah. Like this is not, this is this is mine. I worked for it. You know what I'm saying? But you have to take and and that's where the entrepreneur up and down comes into play. Because you can keep hold it all, you know what I'm saying? Try to grow, you know, you and you may grow. Like I think if you know what you're doing, you'll always go like this. You know, you may take one step, you know what I'm saying? One step and not don't don't remember one step is better than no step, you know what I'm saying? If, if that's as long as y'all headed backwards, right? That's what you got to do. If you you, you know, because my I always compare myself to now from last year. What was I doing last year? Where is that? Okay, am I doing a little better? Don't be so hard on yourself. But you got to be honest and be like, man, really take it in and say, okay, where is my potential going? You know what right. I mean? Am I sitting here and being okay with making? Say you're making a hundred thousand a year. You making if you're making a hundred k a year. I'll be the first. If you're making a hundred k a year, doing something on social media, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, whatever, you know, round of applause because that's that's a step. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like most people aren't doing that. Most people will never see that. But it's like 
if but also there's people that's making a hundred k a month for sure, exactly, or more. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. So it's like there's it's levels to it. Yeah, you right. can keep. Th- you know there's no ceiling on this shit. Right, right, right. And th- and that's where it's like, okay, I'm making a hundred k a year. Am I okay with that? For good. If you say yes, there's no, place, no point in talking to you. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. But if you're like, you know what, I'm making a hundred k a year. But if I was making two hundred k a year, maybe I, I could I could I could pay this for my mom. Yeah. I made three hundred a year. I could retire my mom. You know, yeah. so she could live with me if that's what you want. You know? Right. If I make four hundred, now my brothers can work for me, and they they don't have to work. You know what I'm saying? It's all about what your goals are, sure. and, and right. writing it out, and mapping it out, and articulating it, having it structured right. in a way that's specific, is measurable. It's like, all right, I want to be here by this. Yeah. Because we talked about this on another episode. I don't remember what episode it was, but oftentimes, especially you probably deal with this too, being what people would consider successful from the outside looking in, people will approach you with their business ideas. Or it's like, oh, I wanna, I wanna yeah. do this, or I got this idea, I wanna do this, I wanna do this thing. And I'm like, sorry, so what have you done so far? And it's like, well, I mean, I, I nothing. You yeah, haven't done anything yeah, yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. You and, just got all these ideas, no action plan. Right, you gotta, sure. and I tell, like one of the best pieces of advice you can give somebody is you have to make it real. Right. Because if you don't do something to make it real, it's a fantasy. I was talking to somebody the other day, and they were like, I got this butter idea. I want I got a great butter I make. I'm like, all right, so have you looked up a co-packer? What's that? Right. Google, how right. can I sell butter? Right. right. I need a co-packer. Yeah, yeah. And then now call them. Set a meeting with them. You got to right. meet with them on next Wednesday. Right. Now it's real. Right. 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 Or, 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 now I have to attend this meeting. Right. It's a real thing. And then we're going to have right. a conversation. We're going to start talking about the recipe. And then yeah. before you know it, you got a fucking butter yeah, on the right, shelf right, right, and you're right. selling yeah. products. Exactly. Yeah. And that's that's the thing. Like, you know, I've had friends come to me and because, you know, like I said, I've always been like business minded and just have always wanted to try something. You know what I'm saying? And when this food stuff kicked off, it was like, like for people around me, my close circle, they were like, like yo, Zo did it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. He, 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 hey, don't he, take much he, for people he, to think he, you're he, rich. He, like, <laughs> he, he quote unquote made it. And you know, you, you lose friends in that process. You know what I'm saying? You gain friends. But it's funny because people will always come to me and say like certain business ideas and stuff, right? And I'm like, I always come like, use me as an example. If you're coming to me with a business idea, like you said, you have to do it, man. Like there, because I went into this, I didn't know what to do. Like when I decided to sell them plates that day, man, I don't know what I was doing. I didn't know if people was gonna like. People was gonna be like, "What is? Why does this do yeah. selling plates?" Nobody and, knows what to do. Right, right. and they are gonna say that in the process. Somebody said, "What is this dude doing? What is he doing?" This like, and then it's funny because I was probably making these food videos, and people, my peers, were like, "So it's always on here cooking, like laughing. Look at this." Then they see, "Oh man, he hit a million followers." Oh wait a minute, I'm proud of you, Zo. Bro, I I was cooking on the internet. <laughs> Way before it was cool, right, like sure. people were like, I was the butt of some jokes, yeah, like, oh, yeah, you yeah, think you Martha yeah, Stewart, yeah. you now, this, now, and you that. Now, people like that now was like the success. Now some of those really same people success. are making food videos, right? For sure. right. And that, yeah. that's that'd be the that's come full like, circle. And, and like yeah. I said, I, I don't knock anybody, man, but that has to be probably the most like laughing in my head moment when you see people, not even they were hating them, but just like to see it, that that really shows you that you now have influence. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You're like, I know this guy knows me. I know this lady knows me. And I know she saw me cooking at first. And now you're cooking. Like, either you just know you can cook, you know what I'm saying? And which and I'm like, that's I'm I'm I tell people like, man, don't do it, man. If you have this idea in your head, the worst you can do Test is it try out. and fail. I mean, you know? in this in this economy as well, like somebody could have been the person who talked about Pokemon cards all the time, and then you got Pokemon Go go off, and right, now you got a right. whole career. So right. it's nothing that's out of the range of becoming a career. There's it's an great. audience for everything. Whatever your thing is, yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah your yeah, audience yeah. will find you for yeah, sure. Yeah, because yeah, you yeah. got to try. Because because the worst thing you can do is not try, and now you're sitting here like I wonder working a job, yeah, 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 taking yeah. that forty thousand dollar check right. at, at Olive Garden, right, and be like, right, damn, right. I could, and, the, and then a year passes, like, damn. Damn, I could have been on the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah cause like, that was my that, idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that happens to me all the time when, like, I look at like um, <laughs> like, like people in the stock market. Man, I'm like, yo, like, hey man, I, I said I was going to buy some of this stock. Wish I bought Bitcoin <laughs> in 2016. Yeah. Now, it, is, now, it is always someone you know, right? Yeah. Like yeah. You, always you slept on it, and someone you know personally that right, right. Did yeah. it. And then, yeah. Yeah, and now that person you know is sitting here. Yes, I'm this um, this 
big Bitcoin guru, man. You know, if y'all would have listened to me back then, you like, dang, man. If I would have, I, I, I was sitting right there. Everybody talk- fighting for their story. Yeah, pretty yeah. much, I can yeah, say, yeah, like, man. whatever you're trying to do, like, you're fighting for your story. Yeah, you know, but they're like that. That's a great point, though, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, cause I'm always, I'm always just big on, man. If you're gonna talk about wanting to do something, man, you know, just come to me and 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 also sometimes people come to me to like, you know, hey, you know, you want to invest in this? You know what I'm saying? As someone, if I have some disposable income, cash on hand, I will. But make it make sense. Yeah, you know show me what you've done so far. Right, right, yeah. right. Like, don't, don't come to me, like you said, with this grand idea, and then I'm like, okay. How much do you need? Two thousand, twenty five hundred. Okay. Well, what are you gonna do with that? Oh, I'm gonna start like no. You gotta come to me and be like, yeah, I've been doing, I've been doing, I've been trying this, and I've done it. But These now, are the now results. I, I need this. It's be like Shark Tank. Like, like yeah, I feel yeah, like bring me something. Like, yeah, you exactly. bring me some, if you come to me numbers. with an idea with no action, I feel like you want me to make the idea happen for you. Right, 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 right. right. And, and I'm not and, doing and, that. And, and, and now, and if I do do it, I want most of the money. You know, I was, <laughs> about, to, so I was about to say, if you have this idea, like you said, somebody with some butter, right? They're like, yeah, I got this amazing butter. They know you sell seasonings. They know you sell, you know, all types of products. You're a successful cook. Come to you and be like, hey, Matt, I got this idea to have this butter. Here's twenty five hundred dollars. Can you can you give me some tips? Like like where do I like cons- you know, can you consult me on yeah. how to get to this next step? Then it makes sense. You know, now you're real, like you say, you're willing to invest into that yeah. because now you're you willing to take that chance. Now you may hear the idea and be like, you know what? Keep the twenty five hundred. Here's twenty five hundred to now go do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you never know with it, man. But too many people just have this idea of like, it's almost like they 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 feel like they're obligated for the success. And I hate that because where where I'm at now, I earned it through the trial and error, the long days, the long nights. You know right. what I'm saying? And and I hate the and that's where I, I say I'm just humble. I hate to talk about that stuff because like. Nobody owes me any sympathy for that. You know what I mean? Because like right. it, it was my decision to go out there and try to make it. You know. Sure. And if I if I didn't make it, no, I would. I, I don't. Nobody had the right, or nobody should have been like, oh, I'm feel so sorry for you. Right. No. You know what I'm saying? We're all trying to figure it no, out. For right. Sure. Yeah. So speaking of that, what would you? What would be some of your advice you would give to somebody that's just starting out right now? So the advice I would give, and it's it's some of the similar advice I always give, is just man, be. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we mentioned, you know, throughout this 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 talk, you get inspiration, you get, you know, ideas, you get, you know, motivation, all this and that. But there will never be another you. You know what I'm saying? There will be somebody like you, somebody doing the same thing you're doing, but people like you for you. And I had to realize that, like, you can copy this, copy that, copy that. But there's something about you that people will like. Like, my whole thing is... Let's make something out of nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's that's like the slogan, all this and that. Where, you know, I made down the line go to, I used to eat with Zoe's show. It's this, it's this, you know, and may not say something out of nothing anymore. But there's something in that slogan and the style of videos and the concept that people like. And it's and the reason they like it, I feel like, is because it's natural to me. Right. You know what I mean? I can't I can't get on here and be like, this crazy accent or, or vibe, and then I know when the camera's off, that's not me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's tough now, to keep up with. He, now, hearing your story and seeing that you named it somebody, it make all more sense now. Right, right, yeah. right. Like, you know what I'm really saying? And, 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 and where it came from, I just gotta, I gotta put this out there because a lot of people don't understand. Don't take it so literal, man. You yeah, know what I'm like you're making lobster. That's not right, something right, out of nothing. Right. Like, and I, I can't stand it. <laughs> I got spam it. in the fridge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Oatmeal in it. Like, like, <laughs> like it came. Like everybody has a slow. Everybody has something they just, you know, they just gravitate towards. So it originally came from like my pops growing up, man. He'd be like, man, we don't got to eat. I'd be like, we don't got to eat. He'd be like, man, we got some, some spam, some eggs. You know, make make you a spam and egg cheese sandwich. Now you got you got to you literally taking nothing and you know creating something out of it, but. Where I try to pivot and get people to realize, it's like, okay, let's say you have in front of you flour, eggs, um, raw chicken, some water, and some seasoning, right? And some cream. You're not going to drink a cup of heavy cream. You're not going to eat some raw flour. You're not going to eat a raw egg, right? If I take the flour, the egg, the water, I got pasta. Take the heavy cream, a little bit of the pasta water, some cheese. I got Alfredo sauce. 
season the chicken. Nugget. Now you got a whole chicken out of whole meal. And that's kind of where I like pivoted to tell people, like, you know, you're making something out of these ingredients are quote unquote the nothing. But again, don't take it so literal. You know what I'm saying? I'm not literally pulling something out the couch. Oh, here's a pasta. Like, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, you know, be be a little open minded. I think it's right. more your brand. Like you yeah. you made something out of nothing. Right, you were right, right, right. a yeah. young kid working yeah. in fucking Olive and, and, Garden. And, 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 yeah, and that's selling too. plates out of the trunk for a couple hundred bucks right. and now you have a cookbook on the shelf. Right. And you you just bought a house right, right, and you're yeah. a father and yeah. soon to be husband and you got a, a great life ahead yeah, of you. Yeah, and, and that's that's, that's something, something out of nothing. nothing. Yeah, right, sure. right, right, right. And, and, and that's that's kind of where I just like made it the brand and that's why again how you say, you know, what advice be you because I'm I'm living I'm living my truth and I'm being myself. Right. You know, I'm not I'm not I'm not sitting out here saying, Oh yeah, I man, I was broke my whole life and like cause no, I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? My family, I'm not saying we were rich, but we we made do what we had. You know what right. I'm and then when I got in this position where I had my child and I was like, okay, well now, you know, because my pops always told me, man, like when you get to a certain age, he he I think I was like what, 17 or 18. He was like, when you turn 18, man, your parents can't come get you out of jail no more. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't get saved no more. You on your own. So it was right. like, okay, I'm 20 years old. My girlfriend at the time is pregnant, about to have our child. What am I gonna do? And it's like, okay, now, now you're on your own. You know what I mean? Of course you can ask, but like, and, and I have pride in saying I've never had to ask for help because I've like, I've kept that in the forefront. You made something out of nothing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's so, it. That's that's the slogan. Right. So, so where can people get the cookbook? The cookbook can be purchased just about anywhere, um, online, Amazon, uh, on my socials. You can Google it. Google my first and last name, Lorenzo Espada. Um, it should be in, it should be in just about any bookstore. Um, if it's not there, it may have sold, and they may be re, re, resupplying it. But yeah, man. when did it launch? Uh, November. It launched middle of November, right before Thanksgiving. So we had about good time. November, December, about about three months now. You know what I mean? Good so, man. So, Congratulations yeah, on that. Congratulations yeah. on all the success. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you're inspiring a lot of people out of there, out, yes. out in the world. I, as we spoke about, there's a lot more people trying to do right. what we're doing. So hopefully, uh, we left them with some some good yeah, little man. tidbits that'll yeah. help them in their journey. Right. If you're watching this, it's possible, man. For sure, no doubt about it. Where can everybody find for those that aren't already following you? Oh. Where can they find you? Eat with Zo. Somebody stole the with, so I've been dropped to the H. W I T Z O, and it's stuck. Man. And we'll throw it up on uh, the description yeah, and all that good it's, stuff. It's right here or right there, you know, in the description. Yeah, it's, it's on there. <laughs> Wherever it's gonna be. But yeah, man. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, Appreciate man. you being on the podcast. Appreciate we'll definitely have you on here again. Yes. We got some cooking co uh, content coming together here yes. soon as well. And uh, we'll go ahead and wrap this up so we can get to dinner. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe button, and we'll see you next week.